Good afternoon, I'm Kelly Swoop with your WMER 2 News update. Several coronavirus restrictions are being lifted today in Baltimore. The city reopened playgrounds, outdoor park equipment, and athletic courts. These will not be sanitized daily, and you can use the equipment at your own discretion. And some of the city's public pools also reopened today. You must get a reservation online ahead of time. Admission to the pool is free, but tickets are limits to a family of four. Your ticket will only allow you to be at the pool for an hour and a half. You're required to wear masks outside the pool. The city's splash pads and kiddie pools are still closed. We have a link to where you can reserve a spot at the pool on our website at WMER2news.com. Don't forget to pay to park in Baltimore. Starting today, parking attendants will once again monitor the meters across the city. The new meters do not require drivers to place receipt on the dashboard. Instead, you'll simply type in your license plate number as you pay. And five bars in Ocean City are closed after employees tested positive for the coronavirus. That includes Fishtails, which is the restaurant on the Bayside that got national attention for bringing in those bumper tables for customers. But now that restaurant shut down after three workers tested positive. No word on when it will reopen. The Purple Moose had two staff members test positive. Blue Crab House and Raw Bar had one. The Salty Dog Saloon and Dry Dock 28 closed Saturday and expect to reopen on Wednesday. All of the restaurants are taking safety precautions and cleaning their buildings thoroughly. High pressure moving into the area as we head into your Tuesday. That's going to bring lots of sunshine and temperatures that are going to be warming a little bit into the mid 70s for the morning and then by afternoon into the mid to upper 80s. I think most of us will reach that 90 degree mark tomorrow. That's going to put us a little bit above average. And as we head through the next few days, well, temperatures are going to hang out near 90. Things start to warm up, though, as we get closer to your Friday. Daytime highs as we push into the weekend in the low to mid 90s. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com all day for updates on top stories and breaking news. And for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMER2 app in your app store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent straight to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Swoop. This WMER2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.